Well, tonight we celebrate the sixth night of Hanukkah and some families may celebrate more than one holiday this season. Party prepper and lifestyle expert Jennifer Adams joins us this morning. Jennifer, welcome back to our show. Great to have you on. Uh, just like many people in my house, we're celebrating both Hanukkah and Christmas. I'm Jewish. My husband is Catholic. Uh, it's a unique year, right? How do we still have fun while being safe? It's so unique, and I, this year my family's celebrating both as well, so we have that in common. <laughs> a couple ways of making this celebration a little more casual and setting up different sitting stations for eating. So two people, I took chairs away from the table on purpose so I don't have people tightly gathered around the table, and then a little end table where people can eat here, and individual chairs. Another little thing, right when everyone walks in, I have a little um, sanitary station so everyone can serve their own food. I have gloves and pens so everyone can write their name down, stick this in their pocket, and anytime they go to pour a glass of champagne or serve food, they've got their own little sanitary glove and um, some alcohol swabs they can just keep in their pocket in case they need them. And then for the food, who doesn't love latkes? So I think whether you're celebrating Hanukkah or Christmas or just anything, a real a socially distanced bar of latkes is great. So I also social distance everything here so we don't have a log jam at the bar. So the chairs are actually the chairs, the plates are in one section here. And then I move over to the latkes with some salmon and some bread. And a fun way to make them look more important is to use cutting boards and wine boxes to elevate the height and it makes it look just a little bit more beautiful. And then I have a little bit of space again before we move over to the topping section. And this is so fun because everyone can build their own vodkas to their liking. Some of the fun toppings I like to have are lemon curd. It's so good with creme fraiche mango chutney, sour cream, applesauce, and for a little controversy, I even throw in some bacon bits, chives, and capers. And then moving back here away again, napkins and silverware so there's no log jam. And this year, I turn the silverware upside down so no one's grabbing the top of the fork. It just keeps the forks a little more sanitary. Outside, I've got a section here where we have drinks where we have the bottled waters. I pre-programmed everyone's name on the bottle. That way they can refill their own glasses. Mixing and matching glasses too, make sure that no one is mixing up their water glass with someone else's. So this is a year, don't worry about everything being perfect. Just bring a bunch of different glasses. At champagne station and soda water for the adult beverages. And I have a holiday station for the kids or adults too, but eggnog with some fun little toppings of hot chocolate, cinnamon sticks, even meringues. This way everyone can grab their own drinks and it keeps your night more hassle free. And then for some entertaining stations, for the ones who want to celebrate Christmas, I've got a gingerbread making station with chairs and you don't have buying these kits right at Trader Joe's or a lot of the grocery stores have them right now. So I like to have some they're done. To give an example, one of my cousins even did a Halloween gingerbread because she's obsessed with Halloween. But then the, everyone can really just express their own individuality through their gingerbread making. And then because we only have a few more nights of Hanukkah, here is back to the Hanukkah station. And the thing that's really special to me right now is the lighting of the menorah. And if you're not familiar with the menorah, the center candle is really for lighting all the other candles. And each night, whoops, that candle broke, that <laughs> matchstick broke. Um, each night, we take one candle out and we light, we build out the candles for each special night. So you just light each of the candles and it's beautiful up until the eighth night. So tonight we're on night six, mm -hmm. or today, so all six, and it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So then, go ahead. You know, I was going to say, what a beautiful setup you have. People who are watching at home, you have so much space, and a lot of people don't. You can actually do this on a very small scale with just your immediate family with some of the activities. Like, for example, in my house, we light uh, the menorah, and then we play some games, and then we call it a night. <laughs> and we have a cradle 
station here for the games. And so if it just, because not everyone or myself, I can't keep the rules straight for the dreidel game. So I just go online and print up little instructions. The dreidel game, yeah. <laughs> you can get dreidels online. It's a really fun game. And also to keep it sanitary, have little alcohol swabs right by the dreidels. So each person that spins can wipe it down. There you go, and, and just uh, enjoy eating the chocolates. Yes, the guilt, which is so fun. And so then every use, I use the, I think most everyone does, uses the guilt as also the chocolate for the dessert at the end of the night. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for all of your tips. Um, it's just so festive to see your whole setup there. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you for having me and happy Hanukkah and ha Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank you. You as well. Have a good one.